First and foremost, open a new scene in Blender and make sure you have these two add-ons enabled, Node Wrangler and Import Images as Planes. I don't know why you wouldn't have these enabled already, maybe you just installed Blender, maybe no one told you how useful these add-ons are. The point is, go ahead and enable them. They will make your life so much easier and your Blender journey that much more fun. Next, hit A on the main screen and select everything, X to delete and yes to that so that we can work without distractions. Shift A to bring the add menu, I don't know what else it is called, there is an add on top of the menu, should be the add menu right, who cares. Move down to image, click images as planes and open the folder where you downloaded your atlas. Wait a minute, we didn't do that. Open Quixel Bridge, sign in using your Epic account, that makes everything accessible at zero cost if you are going to use it in Unreal Engine, which I hope you will. In order to avoid any issues, let's just demo this on that one free atlas available to everyone, the beloved Fern. Sounds like CERN. But whatever. Before you download it though, make sure the export settings are set to Blender because for some weird reason the normals are flipped for Blender and Unreal Engine. Really weird. Anyways, you have now downloaded a high quality atlas and are ready to make that much needed mesh so that you can populate your sweet 3D world. Back to Blender. Let's continue. Open the folder where you downloaded your atlas, select the albedo image and click input images as planes. Scroll up to zoom in and see a grey colored plane staring at the ceiling. Hmm. Click on Z to show up the top view, change to material preview mode and viewport shading from top right and you should see your image as it was. Hideous. Doesn't look anything like a fern. Patience my friend. Split the screen into two and open the shader editor in the right one and the left one, whichever you prefer, I'm just a guide. Disconnect the alpha node and get ready to bring in the cavalry, I'm kidding. Just open the folder where you downloaded the atlas. There are other files apart from albedo which are going to be of real help right now. Drag and drop the opacity image into the shader editor and it should look something like this. Change the color sprays from sRGB to non-color, now plug the color node to the alpha and you should see the magic happening. The hideous image magically converts into cute little ferns. We are not done yet though, we needed to look pristine, real and what not, ah, let's not waste any more time. Bring in the remaining images and connect them to the right locations as you deem fit. Displacement information needs to go into the height of the displacement shader before connecting it to the material output. Didn't see any displacement? Hmm, probably change the viewport setting to rendered. Still nothing? Ah yes, forgot to change the material properties. Go to material properties and go all the way down to settings. In the surface settings, ah wait, there are no surface settings? Damn you blender. Go to the render tab and change the renderer from EV to cycles. Go back to material properties and in surface settings change displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. Still not working? Ah dang it, we need to subdivide this puppy. How else would you bump it if it's a single ass plane? Hit tab to go into edit mode, right click on the plane and click subdivide. Open the subdivide menu from the bottom and do 20 subdivisions for now. Any more and I don't take responsibility for smoke coming out of your computer. Kidding. Hit tab again to get out of the edit mode and you should see some crazy level of displacement. Change the scale value in the displacement shader to control the level of displacement. I feel 0.15 works for me. You are free to choose whatever your artistic sense tells you. We are close. Next step is one which most of us are really good at. Cutting. And what do you use to cut? A knife of course. Oh you thought of scissors? Well not in Blender. A knife it is. Go into edit mode and hit K to bring out the knife tool. Now show your skills and cut that bad boy for in a nice little outline. Hit enter once you're done cutting that nice outline. I'm going to remove the remaining faces to get a clean single fern branch but you can get creative and bundle them together, just saying. Hit 3 to go into the face select mode and then hit C to bring out the circle select menu with, and select the faces you don't need. That's the left click to select, right click to get rid of the circle select and get a nice lovely cursor back. Hit X to bring up the delete menu and select faces to delete the unnecessary faces. Repeat until you are happy with what you have got. Once finished, hit A to select all and G to move it so that the start of the branch aligns with the origin. That's just my OCD. Hit tab to get out of the edit mode and you have your nice little form mesh ready. Time to export it and use it in Unreal Engine or wherever else you want to. Who am I to say where you want to use it? You can make your own decisions. 
Now go out there and cover the whole world with your phone.